Hey everybody, Eric Nathy with MountainModernLife.com. Hope you guys are doing well today. Um, as you can see, I'm here again in our slide out, um, and that's because we wanted to touch base with you real quick about some updates we made to the flooring in our slide out. Um, I know in our previous video, we would say that you, uh, we would definitely suggest you use some sort of underlayment underneath the flooring um, before you progress forward, um, even though we hadn't taken that approach. Um, so with the way that we had done it before, um, there was a little bit of a give and a little bit of wiggle right on the edge of the slide. Uh, and I tried to combat that with the trim uh, by placing it down here and creating kind of a wedge between the floor and the trim when you would step on it, which would kind of uh, solidify it there. Um, it did work to an extent, um, but it wasn't as secure as we wanted. Um, so after some thinking and before we build our uh, custom media cabinet back here, um, we decided that it would be better to go ahead and secure this. Um, so what we did is uh, we went to the store and we purchased a quarter inch OSB underlayment. Um, you can use any type of underlayment you find and uh, use your best judgment on the, si on the size of it. Um, we actually chose to go with the quarter inch because we knew that it would give us enough clearance uh, over our problem. And what our problem was is we had four different rolly wheels here that go across for the slide when it's coming in. And uh, on those little contraptions that held the wheel, there were screws that popped up about an eighth of an inch. Um, so what we needed to do is make sure that our flooring laid flat across those rather than uh, being jetted up by them. Um, so we took off uh, the flooring we had already placed down. Uh, and when I took it off every row, I put together um, so that once we put the OSB on and everything was good to go, I could easily go row by row, just putting it right back into place. Um, but anyway, um, so we took all the flooring off and then uh, we had our OSB and we cut it to size. Now when we cut it, we cut it so that it actually followed the lips all the way. So it goes out the exact length of the flooring. Um, and then we cut little compartments for all of the wheel uh, wells. Um, that way they're, kind of, they're open there, but uh, the underlayment, the OSB actually uh, creates a bridge, so to speak, for the flooring. Um, so we cut it, we actually had to use two pieces. Uh, one ends right here, and then a second piece goes down there. Uh, we secured the underlayment uh, to the slide, and then we went ahead and uh, started putting the old flooring back into place um, in the order we had pulled it out. Um, it went in real easy. Uh, we used our spacers along the side. And then when we got to the trim part, um, we went ahead and actually put the trim down uh, the same way as before. Um, but before we did so, um, underneath, uh, sometimes if you came in through the door, you were able to see some of the plywood from the actual uh, uh, slide mechanics. So what we did is we took some black chalk paint and painted those over so that when you're walking in, if you do get a glimpse underneath, all you see is black. Um, but it actually ended up lining up pretty perfectly with the trim there. And now we have no give anywhere on the flooring. Now, we were pretty excited about that because I know in the last video we had suggested it even though we didn't take that route. Um, and looking back on it, uh, definitely to save yourself some time and stress and concern, uh, just go with underlayment, uh, choose your correct size and uh, cut it down and uh, you'll be good to go. Um, but anyway, that about wraps it up for uh, how we fix this. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below or visit us at mountainmodernlife.com. And as always, thank you much for taking the time to view our video today.